Today I'll be introducing you to your KDM J Drive Network file share, its features, and the different ways to access it. Each KDM account has a network file space where you can save your files safely because they're backed up every night. To access your J Drive in a KDM lab, RGS, Citrix, or in most department labs within the college, look for the J. It's that easy. If you want to access your J Drive elsewhere on campus where it hasn't been set up by default, you just need to map the drive to your computer. Mapping the J Drive provides the same convenience as saving your files in the lab. Your files are available from your file explorer and within all of the software installed on your computer. As long as you have an on-campus internet connection, your J Drive is right there. It's just like having a virtual thumb drive that's backed up every night. I'll be using Windows 10, but the process should stay the same for other versions. Mapping a drive doesn't require any software installation. You just need to teach your computer where your files are stored and log in. First, make sure your computer is connected to the internet using an on-campus connection. On-campus connections include the BYU Wired Network, BYU Secure Wireless Network, and some department wireless networks. Not the BYU Guest Wireless Network. That won't work. The second step is to find Computer or My PC. If it's not on your desktop, just click on the File Explorer. It should be on the left-hand side. Right-click it from the drop-down menu and select Map Network Drive. A new menu should pop up. Select J in the drop-down menu and in the folder field enter backslash backslash fs-kdom.et.byu.edu backslash homes. Then check the Connect Using Different Credentials box. Click Finish when you're done. Now enter your Kdom login. You may need to select the Use Another Account option to connect using your username. First enter backslash, then your username. After, enter your password as you normally would. Make sure that the domain is unspecified, then select OK to finish mapping your drive. After a brief delay, a new Explorer window should appear. Your J drive has now been successfully mapped and should be available until your network connection is disconnected or you log out of your computer. You can treat your J drive just as you would any local hard drive. The difference being, changes will be saved on a remote KDOM file server instead of your computer. Your J drive will also be visible to all of your local programs, meaning that you can save files to or open directly from your J drive using your software. To unmap your J drive, right click on computer, select disconnect network drive, then select J from the list of drives that pops up. Click OK and your J drive will disconnect and no longer be available. If you've mapped your drive from on campus and would like to enjoy that same convenience off campus, this is possible using the Kdom VPN. For instructions to establish a VPN connection on your device, just follow the link to our video tutorial. Do note, this method may not work on BYU Guest Wireless. If you want to simply upload or download J Drive files from off campus, you can use an SFTP or SCP client such as WinSCP or FileZilla. Make sure whichever application you choose supports either SFTP, SCP, or both. KDOM servers support both clients, and most users don't find any differences between the two protocols using either applications. I'll be installing using WinSCP on Windows 10, but both clients and protocols also work on older versions. First start by going to WinSCP.net's download page and find the latest version. Click on the installation package link and your download will begin shortly. If setup doesn't start automatically, click on the download to begin. Follow the prompts and accept the terms of agreement. Then choose your installation type. You can also choose your interface style. Commander lets you see two panels, left for your local directory, right for your J drive, while Explorer only shows your remote directory. When you're ready, click to install. Select finish to close the installer. If you want, you can uncheck the getting started page to prevent it from opening. When you start WinSCP, you'll need to set up a session with the Kdom file server that hosts your J drive file share. To set this up, in the host name field, enter sftp.et.boau.edu. Make sure the port number is 22, Enter your KDOM username and password in the username and password fields. Then make sure that the protocol is either SFTP or SCP. When you're done, click Login. After a brief delay, you'll be connected to your J drive and a new window will pop up. This window has three main sections. Menus, special commands, and other information on the top and bottom. A panel on the left displaying your local computer's file system. And a panel on the right displaying your KDOM J drive and its folders. You can navigate to folders, delete, open, etc. files on your J drive using the right panel like you would Windows File Explorer. Keep in mind that when using SFTP or SCP, you will not be able to open files found on your J drive from inside your computer's local applications. To learn more about your J drive and other KDOM services, just visit our website at kdom.et.byu.edu.